it's been said many times, don't quit on a bad day. It's not really a bad day, just struggling. Didn't sleep well last night. Wind was really, really loud. I mean, really loud. It sounded like a freight train the entire time. <clears throat> and just twisted my ankle three or four times already today. <clears throat> Luckily, I'm taking at least one zero tomorrow. Hiking 12 miles today, I hope. A little over 12, 12.3. 12 and um, then taking a zero tomorrow, maybe the next day, because that huge storm that's hitting New Mexico all the way to Vermont is coming through this area starting tonight. So, and it's supposed to be really bad between Thursday night and Friday night, continuing on through Friday morning. So, the hostel or bed and breakfast that I'm thinking about staying, or that I'm staying at, Paul and uh, Bonnie's, they couldn't be more nice. They're like grandparents. Um, totally accommodating. And every penny they charge, which is not much, um, is well worth it. But I won't quit on a bad day. But man, I am struggling today. Mentally also. not I mean, As well as physically, but mentally. I'm not sore at all. That's the weird thing. It's just doing slow miles, just under two miles an hour, and twisting my ankle from time to time. I fell down once already this morning, just as I was leaving camp. Not a good morale bo booster. Well, that's where I just walked from. Stopped just to check the time, and just wanted to share this. see the red in the distance of the sunrise. Oh. Red in the morning, sailors take warning. Old Navy saying, my dad used to say, prepare for bad weather. But it's really red like that in the morning. Just crunchy, doesn't feel that slippery and not occasionally a little spots it's got to pass through like this and those a little dark spot it's likely ice i've already come across a couple of those but you can see beyond there's very little it's just here when you climb elevation from time to time and just thought i'd go ahead and spin around so you can see the magnificent morning starting to happen It's about where I came from. Not about. That is where I came from. Well, a rhododendron tunnel. Appalachian Trail, the green tunnel. It's just above 35. So, rhododendron leaves are not all totally wilty. And you can see right here, looks like a bud getting ready to start to develop. Getting ready for beautiful spring to come. Just amazing how much of a tunnel this is. Okay, just thought I would stop for a moment, take a break. In doing so, break out the camera. Oh, it's not bad. It's not slick. You just can't see where you put your feet at times. It's a little mushy. But overall, it's still snow up here and expected to get more here in the next hour or two. So I'm trying to get off the trail at Unicoi in about five miles or so. Bonnie and Paul are such great hosts. They made this little sign for me. They typically don't make it for through hikers just because they know through hikers don't want to carry it with them. But since I was returning, they decided to make one. Appalachian Trail community is such a tight, small, and large, all at the same time community. This is AT Positive. She helped a fellow Dallas person do a lot of slack packing and such last year. She is an amazing lady. I will tell you more about what she did for me in an upcoming video. She is 
such an inspiration.